guys, so today I wanted to talk about, I don't know, I'm just going to talk. I, the past couple days, have been having, well actually it's kind of an ongoing thing. I had these dreams, excuse you, this one has issues going on. I've been having dreams about one of them. I was walking around and people couldn't see me. They couldn't, weren't recognizing that I was there and this was happening in my life and then also on the internet and I couldn't understand how to get through to people and then this other time it was this um, fight and people were making a bunch of decisions without asking me how I felt about it and I went, I was screaming at my dad, but I could only get about two sentences out that didn't really get my point across, and then I lost my voice, and I had talked to my mom about it, and then we ended up getting into, like, a huge conversation about just things that you talk about on a daily basis, and, but then we got into some deeper issues and d deeper things and I thought, you know, this is really what I think my dreams have been about and I think this is really important to talk about because she had no idea that I felt these issues and that it was something that someone could feel really um, that's in my situation, which is being sick. Um, going from being completely independent, you know, educated, going to school, then having my own job, living, you know, in different state and um, dating and just being an independent adult to then relying on my parents and my family and friends for pretty much everything. And not everything, but pretty darn close. I mean, for things that as an independent adult, you would just pick up and leave and do. And my mom had expressed to me how she doesn't know how I deal with it because in her life, that was like the first thing she wanted to do. As soon as she could get out of the house, she did. And, um, you know, I was the same way. I, I wasn't necessarily as like rebellious as, as other people are, but I wasn't like, oh, I can't wait to get away from my parents. But I was very anxious to get out of the house, have my own place, decorate it the way I want to, um, to get a job, to go to school, all those kind of things. Um, and I loved it. Like, I just really loved it. And I'm very thankful that I had that experience of being out on my own and being healthy and not ill and but on the other hand it does give me this sharp contrast of being at home and I think that a lot of sick people it creates a lot of conflict in relationships especially close relationships like friends and especially family or even um, a relationship is that you are so dependent on other people. I mean, I expressed to my mom that, you know, if they just decided one day to just pick up and leave and move to a different state and I wouldn't have a say in it. I would just have to pick up and move to another state, whether it made me happy or sad or mad. And of course, that's not how we do things in our family, but I know a lot of people that that would be the case or if my parents just decided this is too much for them to handle and as they're getting older and older it is something that really scares me that I would potentially be on my own and have to have care either come in to see me or be in a facility to have someone that um, can at least check up on me and for basic caregiving type things like just feeding myself. I know when my parents go away, even for that time, it's extremely difficult for me to do those things. Um, there are times where I feel okay and I can get out and be with my friends. 
Um, even just giving up driving. I know I've talked to my friends a bunch about this is that when I was well, that was something I always did was I always picked everyone up. Um, I don't like making decisions. I don't like picking where we're going to eat and all that kind of stuff. So I'd always kind of be like, well, I drove y'all pick where we're going to eat, you know, and now it's, this always feeling guilty because someone has to come pick me up and I wonder what goes through my friends minds like well, does it change their plans that they have to put in consideration that I live kind of far out and that they have to pick me up and it's tough because it's something that we can't control and there are a lot of things in life we can't control but this is one of those things that kind of culture and society tells us that they most definitely should be something that we can control and that if you can't then you are less than and not like less than heart or less than three like it's not a heart it's not a good situation and we deal with feeling less than I think a lot of us internally we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and a lot of guilt we carry around and it's a lot of pressure and then we put, feel it from other individuals in society and then to add to it the people that are there to support us and to care for us and uh, to then feel that stripped away as well is pretty devastating to the psyche and who we are I mean it's the first question people ask you when they're trying to get to know you is besides how are you and what's your name is what do you do and instead of what it should be is be a kind person I'm honest I'm brave I um, I'm a hard worker I love I'm a good friend I'm a good listener um, all those things it's what is your job? What do you do in this world? And when you can't fit into that kind of box that needs to be checked by people, it becomes very uncomfortable. And so we then approach relationships and um, getting to know people as a very anxious situation because it's like, what am I bringing to the plate? I can't even say what I do for a living and how do I answer that question? I remember that was a huge thing for me for the longest time is how do I answer that question? And um, I volunteered a bunch and so that made me feel great because I could answer that question and that's not the reason you should be volunteering. I volunteered so I could say to people like, what do you do? Well, I volunteer my time, but then still is a bit confusing like, well, what do you do for money and questions that people don't want to necessarily ask but then kind of they just put you off in this category of this person's not being upfront with me and open and authentic and genuine as a person and um, I know for me it's a huge obstacle in dating because as a female in this time period it's very negative for I feel the man to be the sole provider and that was always something that I wanted to be able to do for myself but then added income together would be wonderful but because I can't do that men are particularly leery about that situation like well, what are you bringing to the table oh you must be a great cook oh you must be like all these things that I'm also not <laughs> because I was so into my career and that's what I wanted to do with my life and that's what meant so much to me is that I put a lot of that stuff to the side it was like well who cares about cooking and cleaning and all that kind of stuff because I'm working my butt off and I just want to be doing that and making friends and being around people and who need, who has time to cook you know and so I pretty much feel like I'm not bringing anything to the table when in fact I am bringing a lot to the table because I'm bringing me to the table 
and you are bringing you to the table and that's really hard to explain to people and to get to a point where you can believe that inside yourself because I know a lot of my friends struggled with this a lot especially with depression uh, because depression kind of strips that away where you just don't have self-worth and you don't have self-confidence and you don't have hope and you don't have all of these things that uh, would give you that answer of will you just being you existing in this world is a hundred percent perfect it's wonderful everything else is just kind of like decoration around you that if you work or if you have a great career or if you're a great cook or you're great at gardening or you have special talents and all of these things should be just decoration and but you just being a whole person is the masterpiece and the rest of the stuff is just kind of the frame or the museum or the other things that are just kind of next to you and uh, I just wanted to share that with people and that you know whether you are someone that is ill and feels this way or if you are someone that is a caregiver and might not understand um, maybe crankiness or aggression or just <sighs> that feeling uh, it's not necessarily you it's just that you have a bunch of people making a bunch of decisions around you and it it can be petrifying it can really hold you in place and make you not want to do anything and isolate and not really talk about what's going on in your mind and I don't know it's just it's just something that really can stagnate you and just make you want to just give up on everything because you feel like it's the flipped situation where I can't do anything therefore my frame is empty and I have nothing to show and nothing to give because I am sick and um, I can't even make decisions in my life because somebody else supports me or the government supports me or I have to get a ride to work or whatever it is for you for your journey um, I just wanted to share that thought because you might not even know you're going through that experience and that might be what is stagnating you or making you feel less than or worthless or just maybe an emotion that you don't even quite understand and I think that's what kind of my dreams were kind of bringing forth again because this is an issue I've struggled with a lot is that I really was terrified because I am at the will of other people and if my friends decide well we're not going to pick you up anymore I don't have those friendships in the same capacity that I did before and that really scares me because that's something I really love and enjoy is seeing my friends and uh, if my parents decided to leave I would be away from a bunch of churches that I trust and have faith in and love and uh, many people that I love and who support me and are always there for me and I would have no say in it I I really wouldn't I mean it would have to be drastic measures for me to be able to stay where I am and things like that and so uh, it might be something to think about or uh, if you've experienced this or gone through this or um, had similar experiences I would love for you guys to comment down below and let me know I love hearing about you guys uh, if it's not something you've experienced, just tell me how you're doing. Um, I read every comment and I try to get back to you guys as quickly as possible. Uh, and, um, I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And, um, as always, I will talk to you guys soon. X double O.